Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you that winners always lose more than losers do. Now that might, might seem like it might contradict itself, but it's the truth. If you take a winner and you see how many times that they have lost, and you take a loser and you see how many times that they have lost, winners pretty much always lose more than losers do. Now winners also win more than losers do. But what does that go to show you? It goes to show you that if you wanna win, you have to lose. If you wanna succeed, you have to fail first. If you look at all of the richest people in the world, and I'm only speaking about winners in terms of finances right now, but winning can pretty much apply to anything in life, any area of life, health, fitness, mental well-being, relationships, sports, whatever the case is. If you look at the richest, most, the, the wealthy people in the world, okay, the wealthy people in the world, the top 100, and you look at their successes, you'll realize that they've had one or two or three or four or five, like a few amazing successful things that they have done. But then if you look at their losses, their failures, you'll see that they have failed a ton of times. With most of those people, they've actually started like 20, 30 companies or tried out 20, 30 ideas before they had the one that took off. And then for the next one that took off, they probably had to try out, you know, 10 more ideas. And then they had another one that took off because they started to figure out what worked. And then once they know the process for a great idea to make a great amount of money, they can just rinse and repeat and they can leverage themselves, leverage their fame, leverage their income to get win, 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 win. So if you're worried about losing and you want to be successful, Stop being worried about it because you have to lose many times in order to win. It's as simple as that. If you take a look at the best basketball players and you look at the amount of three point shots that they have made in their entire life. Uh, you know, if you, if you could come up with some sort of number, like if there was a calculator that kept track of their three point shots that they've made in their whole life. And you look at the amount of three point shots that they've missed in their entire life from when they first started playing and practicing, you're probably going to notice that they've missed two, three, four, five, ten, twenty 20 times as many shots as the other basketball players that aren't as good as them. That's just because they practice more. Whenever you fail, whenever you lose, it's practice. Now here's the thing. When you lose at something, there's a, there's a saying, that I don't know who came up with it or if it's just a common saying, but it says you can either win or you learn. And that means that you can never actually lose. If you lose at something, then that means that you can learn from it and improve for the next time that you're trying to win. So therefore you didn't lose, you learned. And if you win at it, well guess what? You won. So you either learn or you win. Either way it's a win realistically because even if you learn, you're still winning. So it's kind of as simple as that. Now, I just want you to realize this because so often I speak to people about their success and they want to be successful at life and they're afraid of losing. They're afraid of getting people angry. They're afraid of disappointing people. They're afraid of disappointing themselves. And all of that doesn't matter. If you want to win, it's okay if you lose. It's okay if you get some people angry. In fact, you probably will for the simple fact that they will be envious or jealous of you of the fact that you're winning and you're going to lose many times. It doesn't matter if you disappoint some people as long as they don't really matter to you. And if you are truly passionate about this thing that you want to win at and someone is disappointed, someone that you care about is disappointed at it, you know, disappointed at the fact that you're trying to get it, trying to win, then you should really have a serious conversation about them and tell them how passionate you are about winning in that specific thing. It's as simple as that. Don't be afraid of losing because winners always lose more than losers do. So if you want to win, look at all of the people who are losing around you. See how many times they've failed or lost. Multiply that by 10 or 20 or 30. And that's probably how many times you're going to have to lose before you actually win more than them. It's as simple as that. Winners always lose more than losers do. And that's basically it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.